Hey, and welcome back to another episode of Walking War Robots with Stupendous. Uh, today, I guess we'll see what we're dropping into here in a second. Um, but anyways, yeah, just dropping into a game. What I hope uh, that you can glean from my gameplay is whether I play well or, or if I make some dumb mistakes. I want to talk through those mistakes and talk through the things that I do well. And hopefully you can learn from both kinds of things because no player is perfect. Uh, no matter what channel you watch, no matter what content they post, I'm not going to always post perfect content, but I will try to post content that is enjoyable and entertaining for you guys to watch. So this map I'm dropping in with my Carnage first, because this map is, is perfect for a close range knife fighting bot like this, and the Carnage uh, on this map has tons and tons of cover to work with, so it's a really great map to, to utilize this bot for or on rather so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work my way over to this back area where there's a lot of, of varying degrees of cover um, into their back area it looks like they have four bots pushing forward so hopefully the fellas over there hopefully they can hold that down it looks like we're short a player if you look at the top there it looks like it looks like we're short a guy so I'm gonna work my way over here with this stalker and we're gonna push into this beacon over here Holding this beacon uh, with the carnage is actually fairly easy. So we've got that fury over there with Zeus's on it, which is a problem. Um, but Zeus's can be taken out fairly easy with the carnage. So I'm hoping to use the, the depth of the cover around here to work to my advantage so that I can move my way around. I'll let these guys come to me and feel like they can destroy me. <laughs> and then I'll shoot them uh, directly in the mouth. Like so. I got this guy here. It's so one thing that's really nice about uh, working around the Zeus with the Carnage is uh, is that if you can just like slink behind cover really quick, you can actually avoid a lot of the damage. I better quickly get back here because those aphids are coming. <laughs> Um, you can avoid a lot of damage just by slinking behind cover because it doesn't do all of its damage right away. Sorry, I keep not talking. I'm, I'm not used to uh, to playing and, and talking at the same time yet. But anyways, uh, when when you're going up against a, a bot that has um, that has Zeus's on it, if, if you can just get behind cover like really quickly, um, you only take partial damage from it. But anyway, as you can see, that was a pretty solid run with the carnage on that map. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back over here. My team is doing really well pushing over to that right side. They have their, their home beacon over there. So I'm going to keep pushing this direction because um, they're going to try to take beacons back. So that they're probably only going to leave one or two guys to defend the one beacon that they do have and send everyone else to... Uh, try to reclaim some other ones because they're losing quickly like our beacon bar has hardly gone down and theirs is almost gone <laughs> looks like they're taking their home beacon back um, and like I said that's good that's what I was hoping for I was hoping that they would uh, leave this beacon over here a little bit exposed so I'm gonna turn with my rhino around the corner like this oh that guy he's out of his uh, this is the guy that was in the fury I believe um, so I was coming around the corner like that so that he would just shoot me and waste his his Zeus trying to fire on me um, with my shield up. So, all right, so since uh, since I've got a fellow rhino here with Tehran's, I'm just gonna open up and fire on that guy. Uh, even if he had left his shield up, um, he was totally surrounded for one, but even if he had left his shield up, the rhino shield at max level only has 250,000 uh, hit points. And a full clip from from my Tehran's with the with the magnums firing at the same time, will do right around 200,000 damage. Um, it, with with max level mags and trans, I mean. So, <clears throat> opening up into them like that is really good. You can you can break their shield if they're just going to sit there and take it. Uh, you can actually break their shield pretty quick. But anyway, so there there's a look at um, a really good game with the carnage, I guess, pushing that beacon, distracting guys, and just taking out a whole bunch of their bots. I think all of my kills came from that on this map. So, And again, yeah, not every game is, is like a million damage game. 
um, a game like this, my team pushed forward fast enough and well enough, even though we were short a guy, uh, that we were totally able to suppress the other team. So I, I feel like a lot of maybe newer players or inexperienced players, you might think that, you know, like higher level players, like they always get like every single game, like 800,000 damage plus, but that's not always the case. I actually have a lot of games like this where we just win so fast that you don't get tons of damage in. So, and I'll show you here, my percentages uh, actually reflect that pretty well. I, I usually get like really high damage, but it fluctuates between 500,000 and 700,000, just depending on, um, depending on the time of day that I play, it seems like I'll run into different, you know, levels of players. Uh, right now I tend to run into some more higher level players. So I've actually had probably like five or six games in a row now where my team has won and we won before anybody broke 400,000 damage. And that also limits the amount of bots you destroy. So you see those, those numbers fluctuate and go down and stuff like that. So, uh, something to keep in mind just as you're watching other players and stuff, you don't need to glorify the amazing stuff that they post. Um, because I'll, I'll try to post exciting gameplay for you guys, like I said, but I also want to post um, exciting gameplay isn't always a million damage. A lot of times it's just totally steamrolling them like we just did there. So anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button, show your support. Um, I'd love your feedback. Don't forget to leave a comment down in the comment section below. If there's something you'd like to see, make sure to tell me and I'll try to make you a, a custom video based on what you'd like to see. I want to listen to your comments and, and I'll respond to those. And uh, when I can, I'll try to respond to those with a video with the things that you'd like to see. So just let me know. And thanks for watching.